Hi there. So I'm going to show my good friend Simone, now that she got a broken leg a couple of days ago, what to do to stay fit and strong as she heads through this six week period. Now for some people it's a 12 week period. So one of our clients, Sandra, yep. she did so well. She was in, um, she had a, quite a bad break and she was in a plaster cast for six weeks and then a moon boot for six weeks. That's 12 weeks of your life. That is three whole months of your life that you do not want to just be sitting around on a couch. You want to keep that body strong and fit and going. And in fact, if you weren't strong and fit beforehand, then I'll tell you what, you cannot beat having a broken leg for making that other leg working hard and working your upper body because you've got to no negotiate and navigate steps. Uh, on the day that you broke, didn't you, Simone? You had to come down. We came down from the cape that we're on, quite a steep cape, very steep, and we weren't sure if we could get help from up there. So it was sidestepping all the way down, kind of sidestepping, kind of a jump. And then it was bum shuffling down to the sea when we got down to get some cold water to reduce the swelling while we wait, waited for the SES guys to arrive and helicopter you out. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Lovely they were too. So they were and fantastic. One, one legged like sitting down, like to get down yeah. to a, a tree trunk to sit. Yeah, true. Now she had to, she had to use that one leg. And it's great that when we functional train, we learn to take one leg, one leg, one arm, one arm. So we learning to do things on one leg. My thought is always that if you learn to have one leg strong, when you trip, you're gonna hold yourself up. But I didn't expect that we were gonna get a broken leg. Out from under me, yeah, went out from under her, she slipped down in her brand new boots that have such traction so it just goes to show you can be the most prepared and something can happen but we want you to enjoy this workout today whether you have a broken leg or not this can be a really good workout for you at home so please enjoy Simone I just want to get you with a bit of cardio now if Simone had a pair of gloves and she had a partner or she had a boxing bag in front of her she could get some great cardio going hard there so we're going to pretend today that there's um, that somebody's got some pads in front so she's going to go for 20 seconds boxing that's it that's it look Looking good, Simone. That's it. Pretend my hands are still there. I want you to do a slight rotation in that core so that we're working into here as well. Really focusing on every punch you do. Good. We've got five more seconds. This is going to get your heart rate up, Simone. You feeling it? Already. Lovely. So from here, pretend that I've got a pad around the side. We're doing some hooks. That's it. So pretend I've got pads here. Elbow down a tad. It's up a bit high. That's it. Yeah, that's it. Just coming around. That's it. Good. Beautiful. Because I'm hypermobile. Yeah, don't know. I think it's just because you don't have anything to aim into. If you don't have anything to aim into, it can be a bit weird sometimes. Five more. Four, three, two, and one. Simone's going to pretend that I've got pads up here and she's going to punch up one arm, then the other. Straight up. That's it, Simone. Don't bang yourself in the face. Kind of more out here. That's it. Great. Good. Good. So keep going for another 10 seconds. Beautiful. Now, even though she's air punching, I guarantee she's working hard. Yep, I can feel my heart going. There you go. She's going to do a speed ball. So we're going to pretend that there's pads here, then the pads go up higher. That's it, then they go lower. Then they go up higher. Ten more seconds. Simone, you're not going to get out of it just because you've got a broken leg. No way. No excuses. <laughs> no excuses. Three, two, and one, and do you think we can just do our last one here where we've got pads down here and we're punching. Try and get those elbows right back and punching down. Good. We've got another 10 seconds, Simone. I could do this into my fit ball at home. You could, you could do it into a fit ball at home. Um, you know, if you had a fit ball, pop it there and punching down, you're right. Stopping there. Simone, I'm just gonna grab you your crutches. Now, if you want to do this at home and you didn't have a broken leg, you can use a broomstick or a mop, whatever you did want to, and we can sit stand on one leg without um, using crutches. So, yeah, if you didn't have them, Simone, I want you to press right into that heel of that foot. That's it, and push yourself up, like pushing the earth away from you. Trying to keep that chest up at the whole time. That's it, pushing straight up. Good, and maintaining really good form as we come up. That looks good. You can feel that leg doing a lot of work, it can't you? Can we do two more? But one lazy leg. Yeah, one lazy leg. This leg is going to have to do a whole lot of work at the end, so don't think it's going to get out of it. At the end, it's going to need to do more work than the other. Stop there, Simone. So our next one that we're going to be doing is triceps. So I'm just going to take those off you for a minute. Simone's going to put her hands on the side of the chair, and she's simply going to bring her bum off. That's it. Just do one dip and back. 
If you can't do the dip because your triceps are not very strong, just bring yourself off the chair, bring yourself back on because guaranteed you're going to need to be doing this a bit. Great. Can we they do? weren't strong before. I'm yeah. a strong bicep, the tricep. Right. You will. You will. We just do two more. Beautiful. And one more. Well done. Now our next one that we're going to be doing is a one-legged deadlift. So can we stand ourselves up from the chair? Popping through the weight through the heels. I'm going to remove this chair from the back, so don't sit down. Can you just go a little bit forward? Lovely. Stay there. Right, so now Simone is going to come over to the, to the railing. If you've got a sturdy railing, just make sure it's not going to move on you. So I'm going to take these off her and she's going to hold on to the bench. We're going to do a one, one le le leg of dead. I want you to face the bench, Simone. Yes, that's it. So from here, Simone is si simply going to be leaning forward and a slight bend in that knee. Now she should feel this all the way up into her glute. Can you feel that? Yes. Great, let's go again. Good, because you know what? With one leg broken, Simone's going to have to do a lot of one-legged stuff to bend over and pick things up off the floor. Good. Yes. You've been doing that, haven't you, Simone? I have. Good. So this leg is getting a lot of work. Can we do one more? Beautiful. Now, I'm going to give her a break from those legs, and we are going to go down onto the floor. So, so I'm just one at home with not a broken leg might do the other leg now. Yeah, so that's true. So that Simone just made a good point. Those of you at home who think this is a great little workout are not really preparing for that time you get a broken leg. Hopefully you don't. But you know what? We need both legs working independently of one another. If all we ever do is squats with two legs there on the ground, we're not allowing ourselves for that time when we do do a trip over or we just need one leg. So make each leg work independently. I'm taking Simone down on the floor now. So Simone, you can head down. You're right without your crutches or do you want some help? No, good. she's good. She's very she's independent. Now, master. Yeah, she's doing well. Okay, Simone, so the first thing, I'm just going to grab my notes. So the first thing that we're going to be doing here is now Simone's get, getting quite good at this. She's going to do a bum sh shuffle. She needs to do this on the day where we got down from the Cape and she needed to get down to the water and there's lots of big rocks. She could not walk down there. Um, so we bum shuffled, just kind of bum shuffled and then bum shuffled back. Good. Oh, I think I was trying to do a crab crawl then. I was so used to it, but it's much easier with your bottom on Yeah. The so she's just going to come up and down, up and down. Now, if you of our, at home are more advanced, you can actually take up your bum and walk forward and back. But for Simone, can we do one more lot? A bum shuffle's fine. So those of you yeah, at home that can, a bum shuffle. We go up, we come down, we come up, we come down. If you can't even do that, you can just slide along at home with your bum down the whole time and slide back with your bum. And you also, you'll be working that quadricep. I can feel mine when I have my leg up as well in the air. So you actually do a lot, lot of work. So I guess for you at home, you can be walking along with your feet down, but if you want to work it a bit harder, guess what? Having that leg up actually works it just to hold it up. And don't forget, Simone's also got a cast under here. So she has to hold up the weight of the cast. So it's actually quite a bit. So Simone, from here, we are going to go onto your, let's go onto your front first. So we're going to go onto Simone's front. And I'm going to get Simone to go from her knees. She's going to stay on her knees. And Simone is going to lower her hips down. Now we're going to do some pu pu push-ups oh. off the floor. So we're just going to have our tongue on the roof of our mouth behind our top teeth. She's going to make sure she doesn't arch that back. Great. Can we just do two more? Good. And don't push that head forward either. Good. So coming from there, can you have a stretch back, Simone? Just have a li oh, little... Okay. That's in a nice stretch back. Perfect. But she's going to be doing a lot of upper body work. Need to keep that stretch out at the same time. From here, Simone, we're actually going to take a one leg lift. So from here, you can come right in so that you're, um, yeah, just on your arms and four, forearms and knees. And we're going to take one leg up and then just a little squeeze and lift. So do six on one side, count six on one side and six on the other. So Simone is going to squeeze this bum cheek first, then she's going to lift. So we do it in the right sequence as well. We want this to contract first and then lift, and this contracts next. We don't want her to get into the wrong sequence. May as well keep things good. And she's going to do six on the other. Simone, can you feel this butt working? Yes. And maybe some hamstring work as well? Perfect, perfect. So she's great. We're just going to do six on each side, but you could be doing more at home. 
Excuse the wind here today, it's a tad windy. Good. So this way we're keeping both of her glutes active. And Simone, you were saying a while ago when we did a practice run with this that you felt really good because you were using that leg that's not yes. being used. Yes. So that's you, used it. yeah, you imagine a leg being in a cast. We're not using those glutes. We're not using those quadriceps or hamstrings, not the glutes. So by doing some of this floor work, we're actually using it. So it's really good. That's not hurting my leg at all. Yeah, and, and no. it doesn't hurt her leg at all because we're using other mo. M muscles around that leg, so it's a good one. Um, Simone, while we're on our front, can we lay on our front? Yes, yeah, so stay the same way you are. Simone's going to lay on her front with her arms um, yeah, down by her side, and she's going to rotate so these, yeah, thumbs up and squeezing these shoulder blades back, just holding for a moment and going back down again, Simone. That's it. Tongue is on the roof of your mouth. So now she's working a whole back. Can you feel that back working? Yes. And she can even squeeze these glutes at the same time. Great. Let's go down again. So now we're doing some back work. Hello, so much you can do. Don't let the brakes stop you. Great, and coming down there. Can we come up one more time? Beautiful, looking really good. Simone, from here, can you take your hands underneath your chin? Mm -hmm. Now, you know when you're in the surf li life saving, the in ni nippers or whatever they're called, and they have to get up and run. Well, we're not gonna get up and run, but we are gonna lift our shoulders up off the floor, bring our arms back, squeeze our shoulder blades back together, bring them back and come down. All the while keeping your tongue behind your top teeth because that activates these neck flexors and you want these to work so that we don't get a sore neck. Squeeze Great. Butt as well. And you can squeeze your butt as well. Anytime we lift, you can be squeezing that butt and get that whole back to work. You can feel from here right down to here. Good. Simone's working her whole back one more time. Beautiful. Well done. Can we roll onto our side and face the camera? So Simone's going to bring up these knees. Now, if you were at home and were a bit more advanced, you could take these legs out or um, a staggered um, stance here with your legs but you can take them on top. We're gonna to leave hers with her knee because I don't want her to put any pressure on her leg at all today. So knees up, she's gonna make sure that elbow's straight underneath her shoulder and she's just gonna lift up off the floor. Maybe hold for about five seconds if you can, Simone, and then down again. Let's do three on that side and we'll do three on the other. Now, if you find that too hard because it puts a lot of stress in that shoulder, you may just come up and down and up and down, or you may just stay up there the whole time for maybe 20, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. You'll feel those side abdominals working and that shoulder. Yeah. Can we flip around to the other side? Actually, stay here for a moment. May as well stay on that same side for a minute. Laying right down, Simone, don't go to sleep on me. Okay. So you can take that head on the um, arm. You can roll just a tad back onto your bum cheek and we're just gonna do some side leg lifts and you should feel these side abdominals working. Can we do six? Yes. Good. So you can see, Simone is working right through these abdominals now and she doesn't need to put any stress on that leg to do it. Six. Good. Let's roll around to the other side. Good. Yep, a plank first. So she's going to bring, bring up these knees. That's it. And coming up. How many did we do before? Three, I think. Three. Yep, stay up there for four or five seconds. Come down. Lovely. Let's come up again. Beautiful. Good. That's it. And one more. Good. And you can feel these side abdominals working. Great. So from here, let's do these side leg lifts. Lovely. So Simone's just going to roll slightly over onto her bum cheek, not too far over, but you should be able to feel these side abdominals working. So onto the squishy fat bit of my bum, you mean? Yeah, on, onto the squ squishy bit of your bum. How many have you done? Three. Yeah. Four. Four. Good. Six. Great. And the other one I was going to do here, oh, I had a thought while we are on the other side. What was it? So, yeah, side yeah, side leg, leg lift. So staying here, Simone. So let's take this top leg over. Um, well, you, your leg's already, her, her foot's already in a flexed position, so we don't have to do much with that, and just gonna lift up the leg. So here we'll be working through the outer thigh, but also into this glute area. So the side glutes, so the, um, yeah. Can you feel that working? Sure can. Three more, good. Three more, yep. Yep, two. two. And one. one. Great. Now I'm going to get this leg over the top and this leg underneath now, we're going to work this inner thigh. So flex, flex that foot, flex it. That's it. Six of those. That's about three. Four. 
That's it. Now, Simone did want to, just to make this work a bit harder, she could lie a weight over here. Just kind of hold the weight and lie it there. Okay. Lovely. Can we flick over and do the other side? And we are just about finished for the day, Simone. How does that feel? Good. That's it. I'll, I'll do, we'll do the top leg first. So leave that leg under. That leg fo foot flexed. That's it. Great. So Simone should be feeling through into the side of her glute here and some of this side leg here. And again, she can add a weight if she did want to, but you're okay with that? You can feel it enough? Maybe not today. Okay, not today. Just recovered from the break. Though. It's only been two days since the break. So hello, we're not weeks down the track. We're two days post break and we're working out. Awesome. Can we take that one over? How many have you done? Six. Okay, lovely. And I was gonna say flex the foot, but it's already in a flex position, so we're good. Lovely. Three more to go, Simone. Beautiful. Well done. Now there's a whole lot of stretches she could be doing with this as well, but maybe we'll show you that in the next couple of days. I hope you've enjoyed that because whether you have a broken leg or not, this will work for you. But if you've got a broken leg, please don't let it stop you. Don't let a broken arm stop you. There's so much bottom half you can do on bottom, uh, like leg work, glute work, and core work, even if you have a broken arm. So please don't let, let it stop you. It hasn't stopped Simone. It stopped me, but I'll say I'm very grateful for having done all the work with you in the first place. You're right. So, so I had some strength. Yes, no, that's good, Simone. With, yeah. You're right. So if you've got a chance to get strong in the first place, this will help you no end because Simone wouldn't be able to do what she was doing today had she not already done a whole pile of this and been really quite strong with her legs and what she's doing. So try and get onto it before you do, but if you happen to have had a broken leg, this is a little workout you can be doing. So I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Simone. Thank you. See ya.